What's going on YouTube? Wildline Games here. We are back with some Casey Powell Lacrosse 18. It's the NLA, the National Lacrosse Association. And that's where we take a handful of teams from the PLL, a handful of teams from the MLL. We bring them together in this beautiful marriage of pro lacrosse. And that's where we're at, baby. So in this dynasty mode, we're taking control of the Denver Outlaws because, you know, that's my favorite team so here we go denver outlaws win the face off taking on the redwoods lc of the pll christensen makes his way down to the crease and no defense is there the outlaws go up first and they go up quick just under a minute of play and they already got points up on the board nice shot poor defense i mean if i'm the goalie i'm like yo what are, what are y'all wake up the game started <laughs> you cannot you cannot miss transitions like that to start the game but that's all right because the redwoods now have the ball in outlaw territory they shoot and answer with the goal of their own no less than just a couple minutes later so now we have a 1-1 game outlaws have the ball pass it over to josh glovers josh glovers he dosses it back to harry page harry page shoots and it's saved i thought he was gonna score there great pass by glovers but it's not enough harry page can't find the net and here come the Redwoods moving down the crease quick. And I believe that's Kavanaugh. And he scores the second goal of the game for the Redwoods. They go up 2-1. to one. Nice shot. Redwoods maintain possession still here in the first. Oh, and they're going to leave Joe Walters wide open. That's an easy goal for him. Make it 3-1. to one. Redwoods have the lead. Denver coming off a loss. Took a little break over the All-Star Week, hoping they can uh, gather themselves up again. But right now, they face a 3-1 deficit. But Dan Sanders, somehow he finds the goal there, bounces off the goalie. And here's Max Snellenberg coming right back at you. Ooh, just a little too much mustard on there, big boy. Slow it down a bit. Slow it down. Be precise. Be precise. Not everything needs that much power. But that's all right, because Boyer's going to make his way across the crease. And he finds that bottom corner of the goal here with a nice bounce shot coming around the defense. Good screen by his teammate jamming up the middle, getting some of those Redwoods defenders kind of jammed up there. But here's Troy, pass it over to Todd. Todd back down to Josh Glovers. Here we go. He tries to make a move, makes another move. He shoots and scores. Couple dodges there to make his way across the crease, and he's gonna give his outlaws the lead four to three. Let's take a look at that again. Nice shot. Nice shot by Glovers. Here we go. Outlaws and Redwoods at the faceoff. Still early in the second quarter. Four to three. High scoring game so far. Troy is gonna win the faceoff once again. That's all he does. Thomas Jankowski shoots. And he scores, extending this lead to two. And the outlaws and redwoods going back and forth, back and forth. I like it. I like it. So here's McMorris. McMorris trying to do something. The defense is strong for the Redwoods. Nowhere to go. That's a turnover. Here's huge Krantz. Krantz over to Garnesy. Garnesy down the stirrup. Back up top. Didn't like what he saw there. And that's, oh, nope. Thought it was going to be a turnover. But they're going to give it to Kavanaugh, who finds his man Garnesy in the middle. And that's a Redwoods goal there. They bring it within one. Outlaws up five to four. Here's Connor Castle. Looking for some offense. Dan Sanders. It's our big guy. Ooh, he shoots. Saved by the goalie. What a save. Redwoods get possession back, and they're moving up the field quick. Denver's trying to get back on transition defense, but they're down a couple guys, and it shows because the Redwoods snipe that thing, and they tie it up at five. Clock winding down in the second, and once again, Outlaws defense nowhere to be found, giving the Redwoods the lead again, six to five. That's our third lead change of the game, and we're only in the second quarter. So another stop on defense for the Redwoods. They're going to pass it off to Kavanaugh. That's, he's just cherry-picking. I mean, I don't blame him for cherry-picking down there. There's no one to be around. How are you going to let Kavanaugh just sit down there by the crease? Cherry-picks a long pass. I mean, great heads-up play by the Redwoods. So now they extend their lead to two goals, 7-5. to five, But the deep hole makes his way in there brings it within one it is now seven to six and we're going to go ahead and jump into the third quarter still seven to six here redwoods have the lead and they extend it with another goal eight to six what a shot denver's defense is falling apart here and here come the redwood there's Kavanaugh. he's got two already and does he get it he does 
Kavanaugh for the Redwoods gets the hat trick. That's his third goal of the game. He is on fire right now. Denver down three, largest deficit of the game so far. Things are not looking good. Not looking good, but another snipe gets them within two. Let's take a look at this on the replay. Beautiful shot right in an impossible position for the goalie to save it. So nine to seven, here's McCormick. McCormick, ooh, splits right in between the two defenders. They're actually gonna call a flag here. Redwoods have to play with a man down for the next 30 seconds. Here's McCormick getting a second chance and he just takes it right in, shoots and misses. Dan Sanders got the rebound, he dives and scores. Within one, Dan Sanders with the athletic play here. Take a look at this, diving out. Mm. Beautiful diving shot. Just as the penalty time was expiring too. What a shot right there. That's going into the top 10 plays of the month. You know it already. So now we are back to even strength. Outlaw still down by one. Here's Glovers. Dumps it back to Snellenberg behind the net. Over to McMorris at the top of the key. Harry Page. He's our big boy. He's bringing it in. Makes a move. Nowhere to go. So he's going to dump it off to Jankowski. Jankowski brings it in. Behind the back. Oh, oh my goodness. We got to take a look at this again. Jankowski goes behind the back. Be beautiful. That's amazing right there. They tie this thing up at nine. Outlaws playing with some swag right now. And here's Christensen rocketing this thing into the corner of the net here. And the Outlaws retake the lead for the third time today and make it 10 to nine. How about the, out how about the Outlaws though, tying it up with the behind the bat goal. Maybe that should go into the top plays of the month. And Dan Sanders, this dude, Playing like a man possessed out there. Extends the lead 11-9. It's a two-goal lead for the Outlaws. Look at that. You just you can't leave an Outlaws attackman open in front of the crease like that. You just can't. You just can't. It is 12-9. Three-goal lead for the Outlaws. Ooh, and Castle trucks the hell out of the Redwoods defender. Hold up, hold up. Let's look at this again. Mm. Oh, it's too bad he didn't score here. It is too bad he didn't score just a little wide. Time is winding down. Five minutes to go. Redwoods down three. They have a chance right here. And here's Kavanaugh looking for his fourth, and he gets it. But unfortunately, that's going to be Kavanaugh's last goal, and it's going to be the Redwoods' last goal, as this game is going to finish 12-10. to Great effort by the Redwoods, but 12-10 to victory for the Outlaws, and they will actually jump ahead back into first place right where they belong baby <laughs> all right man i hope y'all enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up uh if you want to see more content uh hit that subscribe button i'm always putting some new stuff out and uh yeah i hope y'all enjoyed it thanks again for watching peace